In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perfect article for your IB Macroeconomics Commentary, or Internal Assessment. Now you really want to focus on article selection because a good article makes it so much easier to write your IA and score well. So today, I'll be sharing the best topics that you should use for macroeconomics commentary with samples and possible search terms you can use to find your own article. So, what topics should you choose for your macroeconomic IA? Well, there are lots of topics in macroeconomics, but the IB syllabus only covers a portion of these. So you want to pick an article that relates to something the IB covers in detail. So some examples are fiscal policy, which are changes in government spending and government tax rates. You could also do monetary policy, which are changes in interest rates. Or last of all, you can do supply side policies, which are policies that are designed to increase productivity and long run aggregate supply. Now supply side policies, I usually tend to stick away from because they're a bit more difficult, but I'll talk about more of this later. And when you search for an article, you want to find one that talks about, one, a macroeconomic problem, for example, a recession or high inflation, and two, you want it to also talk about the government solution or policy change, for example, reducing interest rates or increasing interest rates or whatever. Now, you want to be searching for articles that deal with a policy change and a solution to the problem because then you can evaluate whether the solution is effective and it makes it a lot easier to write your commentary. So here are some search terms that you can use and what you want to do is go to news.google.com and just start searching for articles. The easiest articles to find are articles about monetary policy. So for example, you can go to news.google.com, search for central bank lowers interest rates or central bank cuts interest rates, whatever. Or you can search for central bank increases or raises interest rates. Here's an article that uh, it relates to monetary policy, you can see all I did was just search for central bank cuts interest rate and you'll find this article. It took me a minute to find and it's perfect for your IA. Next you can also do fiscal policy so you can search up terms like expansionary fiscal policy or search up cash handout, search up government spending to boost economy, that one's a good one, or fiscal stimulus and see what you can find. This one uh, for fiscal policy is usually a bit harder to find an article so if you're in a rush just search for an uh, article about monetary policy and interest rates. But here's an example of an article about fiscal policy. India allocates $684 million to lend to regions to boost economy and step up government spending. Now, let's examine what makes a good article using this example article. So number one, you want the article to talk about a problem that, a gov that the government or that the macro economy is facing. So here, the problem is that the country's GDP has shrunk 5.32% year on year in the second quarter. Next, you want the article to talk about the policy change or the government's proposed solution, which is allocating $684 million to provide loans while taking measures to step up government spending. And this way you can model the problem using a, ch using a diagram showing that aggregate demand is shrinking, for example, which causes a decrease in GDP. And then you can model the policy change or the proposed solution which is increasing aggregate demand by increasing government spending and another th thing you want to look for in articles are quotes from stakeholders or quotes from experts because this will help you in your evaluation and you can use quotes in your evaluation so for example here uh, a bank of central asia economist said that the government has to you know, make sure that the government spending is done quickly or else the or else consumer spending might fall and we will not expect a recovery. So this is something you can put in your evaluation. You can say, oh, this policy change might not work if the government doesn't spend fast enough, or fast enough or if it doesn't boost consumer spending adequately. So this will help you in your evaluation and help make it easier to write your IA. Now, before you start writing your commentary, you also want to make sure that your article follows these IB guidelines because these are easy marks to lose and you don't want to lose marks for stupid things like this. So number one, your article must be from a reliable news website and it cannot be a column, editorial, blog, or any opinion piece. This doesn't mean you can't have quotes in your article, but it does mean if the article is stated or marked as an opinion piece or written in first person, you should stay away. Number two, the article has to be less than one year old at the time of writing your commentary. 
and it also can't be about a historical economic issue like the Great Depression in the 1930s. It has to be something, uh, your article has to be about something happening in the present. Number three, IB examiners will not read more than two pages of text, so make sure your article is not too long. And if your article is a bit long, you can highlight relevant sections of your article that you want your examiner to read. Now keep in mind that your examiner will only read parts of the article that are highlighted, so highlight everything you want them to read. And this is something you can do even if you have a shorter article, because it just makes it a lot easier for the examiner, and it makes it a lot easier for your teacher to do predicted marks. Thanks for watching everyone, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if this video helped you out. See you next time.